Ciao a tutti, today I'm going to be making a classic of Toscan cuisine, La Fiorentina, which translates the Florentine, Florentine style steak. Adesso andiamo a grigliare, now let's get grilling. First of all I want to talk about a little bit the charcoal grill. So the Florentine steak has to be on charcoal, you need the flavor plus it needs to sear, high heat. What's really important when we cook with this charcoal, that they become a little bit ash color. In this case it doesn't create a lot of flame. So I use this nice barbecue, usually I put the charcoal just to one side. I always like it to use the other side empty, which is an insurance. In case we have lots of flame, we can always move them on the other side. So the Florentine steak, as you can see, it's a T-bone, porterhouse also called. All it is is a filet mignon with a New York strip loin. One of the best parts of the beef, so lots of flavor. Now all we have to do is we have to trim a little bit of the steak. Otherwise, we'll have a lot of flame for the fat. When I make Florentine steak, I usually take it out a couple hours before I cook it. So the steak goes at room temperature. In this case, we'll cook better the inside part. Otherwise, it stays too raw. Italians don't eat too much steak, but once they have it, they say, hey, per una volta che la devo avere, la devo mangiare buona. For once that I'm going to have it, I'm going to have a really good one. That's why I always incentivate people to buy the best you can. Now, for the T-bone piece, many people ask me, how can I get a nice two-inch thick? Usually, if you go to a nice butcher store, in the back, they always nice a big piece of porter house. Has them. I want a two-inch thick T-bone. They usually do it for you. But more. Yeah. Madon. Sometimes you still get the flame, even when it's a little bit harsh. Don't be afraid. If it's too much flame sometimes, that's when I put the lead on, very briefly, otherwise we steam the meat. But now, the flame is just right. I'm just gonna sear a little bit of the meat. Around three to four minutes. Now I'm just gonna briefly check on this one, since it's been flaming for a while, let's see. Nice. Now this other one is a little bit bigger, so it might, didn't get as much flame. Just gonna check. Yeah, just a little bit here. Now it's almost four minutes. They're ready to be flipped. And this one as well. Oh yes, that's what we want. Perfect. Here, very gentle. Someone from Florence told me, how you make the steak? They told me like, Four minutes one side, four minutes the other side, four minutes standing up. Of course, depends on the amount of the fire. So I'm gonna cook them a little bit standing up like this. So what happens, the meat close to the bone will slightly cook as well. So I'm just gonna keep it like that for another three, four minutes. That's it. Now I'm just gonna remove the steak. When I carve the steak, the good things I like, I like to remove the outside part, which is the part more well done. For some people that like well done, you can use the hand piece. I like actually the piece that a little bit burned, those are my favorite. Nice, beautiful. When you have a nice piece of meat, you don't need much to it, you don't need any spice. That's why we grill it without anything. Now just let's put on the plate. Now I'm just gonna add some salt, coarse sea salt. A nice Toscan olive oil on top. Oh my God. It's so exciting. Adesso si mangia. Now we gotta eat. It's my favorite part. Just incredible. You can really taste the charcoal, green meat, the salt, the nice coarse sea salt, the olive oil. Perfetto. Now you get grilling. It's so easy. Mm -hmm.